All right, welcome back to Call of Duty Mobile. And as you can see, things are looking quite a bit different from what you saw in my previous gameplay video. I've gone up a few levels and tiers since then. I've unlocked more of the playable modes. And even at the time of me recording this commentary, I've actually gone up a few more levels and tiers just from playing Battle Royale and stuff like that. So. I've been having a blast with this game. I've just been loving it and I wanted to do this video because I figured it would be easier to do commentary in post so I can give my thoughts a bit more clearly rather than trying to, you know, talk and play at the same time because a game like this requires a lot more concentration and I just want to, you know, I, I want to be clear when I give my thoughts on the game. So uh, to start off with. Like I said before, I didn't have much of a history with Call of Duty. I played that one demo of Call of Duty 2 on the 360 when the 360 first came out and everyone was showing off all the graphics and stuff at, at the stores and everything. I would play that demo at Walmart, at GameStop, Target, all that stuff. And you know, it was pretty cool. I never got a 360, but that's besides the point. Uh, I did get the first Modern Warfare when that came out. That was like a big deal to me. You know, I really enjoyed the campaign. I liked the setting, amazing visuals and everything. I vaguely remember playing a demo of Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, but that's about it. And then later on down the line, I bought Finest Hour on the PS2, which is really good, you know. I'm not too big on the whole World War II setting, but it was still a fun game. The only thing is, I've never actually played online any kind of multiplayer in those games. I played local multiplayer in Modern Warfare with some friends of mine from high school and college back in the day, but that was about it. So this is all kind of new to me. And so far it's been pretty fun. It, I mean, it looks like Call of Duty. It sounds like Call of Duty. I would assume this is how it plays too, just on a mobile device. And that being said, the controls have been all right. I wanted to see how this will compare to a game like Forgotten Memories because obviously that was the only other game that I played that had an interesting take on shooting on a handheld device. Because, you know, this is way more fast paced than a survival horror, so I wanted to see, you know, how could this handle something that requires you to be on point for several minutes at a time. And I've been using this game's simple uh, mode where it has an auto fire. So once you get within range of an enemy, you know, like, like, like within a decent shooting range, it'll fire by itself. And then you can just tap that little cross here to aim down your sights, then tap it again to go back to your normal aim, your normal uh, view, you know, firing from the hip. And you know, I say it's a fair compromise because there is another option where you would have to, uh, it's like, I think it's called the advanced mode where you'd have to tap the cross here to aim and then tap a separate button to shoot. That is a bit, I mean, you know, that, that requires a bit more uh, effort on my part, but I think the auto fire is okay because, I mean, you figure if you're within range of an enemy and you can shoot them, why wouldn't you shoot them? So let the game do it for you. You know, it's, 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 uh, what's the word? I guess, I guess, I mean, I, I guess compromise is the word. It's, it's, it's making the best of the, the limitations of the platform. And it does take a bit of getting used to. It it is a bit weird. It looks weird, but once you try it and play a few matches, it starts to feel a bit more natural. And because I understand that there is a bit of a stigma against mobile game controls, and you know, it's not as tangible as a mouse and keyboard or a controller. You know, something that you can really get a feel for, it and all your fingers are where they need to be in case you need to press something quick. And you know, especially with a game like this where it's so fast paced and that's where, the, you know, the auto fire comes into play because it does that part for you. So that's all good. And again, it just takes some getting used to. It's still pretty fun. I have been wanting to look into some of those like Android controller, you know, those little phone grip things. Like it's like a little controller shaped grip that you put your phone into. It's not a controller, but it's just something that you can put your phone inside so you can kind of hold it. And it feels more like an actual controller. Might make it easier to easier on your hands and stuff. And uh, I wanted to try the gyroscope controls because I figured, hey, that might give me a bit more control over my aim than just trying to use the, uh, the virtual right stick. 
but I couldn't seem to get it to work. I've looked up things on forums, people have been saying that you would have to like, uh, reset all your settings, then change it, then log out, then log back in. I, I tried, I didn't seem to get it to work. I'll maybe try it again, but it's not too bad. Also, when I was looking at some of the uh, the help information in the game's main menu, apparently it does all the matchmaking based on your control settings. So if you're using touch controls, it'll match you against people using touch controls and with a controller or an emulator and so on and so forth. And I think that's pretty good because it keeps things balanced that way. You know, it would be kind of unfair if you, you know, if I'm sitting here with my, you know, touch controls and I'm playing against someone who's using an emulator with a mouse and keyboard or whatever. And again, I don't know if that's a hundred percent true. I would need some kind of confirmation to see if that really is the case. But if, but if that is how it works, then I think that's pretty fair. You know, you don't want to give anyone an unfair advantage. So yeah, as far as controls, it's all good. Visually, it's pretty impressive too, as for a mobile game. I kind of had to lower my expectations a bit because obviously it's not going to look as good as the uh, the console versions. Though then again, this is actually the first time I've ever seen some of these iconic maps like, uh, you know, Kill House, Crash, Nuketown, all, all of those maps. I've never seen the actual console versions of those, so this is my first experience with them. So it's interesting looking at these and looking at comparison screenshots from the original games and it's, you know, they did a pretty good job trying, you know, trying to cram it into a mobile simplified version, low poly and all that stuff. It's good. Performance could be a bit better, but I wish there were more options for it. That's my problem. The game forces me into a low graphical setting because, you know, obviously I'm still using my uh, my LG X power. It's not a very good phone for this, this kind of thing. And because of that, it automatically lowers my settings to just the low setting and I don't have many options to adjust. I can't change things to suit my needs. And that's just kind of unfair. I'd prefer to choose. Like in Forgotten Memories, just lowering the uh, the resolution made a big difference with the frame rate. If I could do this thing with this, I'd be a happy camper. You know, sure, it wouldn't look as sharp. You know, things in the foreground would be harder to see. I might get sniped more often, things like that. But I could get used to it, my eyes could, could adjust to it, but it is what it is. And I have seen that there are ways to kind of fool the game into thinking that you have a better phone, that way you have more, more access to all the other options, but apparently you have to root your phone to do that, and I don't want to deal with that, so that's out of the, you know, it's not happening. And with that being said, the game does look a bit better than what you're seeing in this footage. Like, when I'm playing, it's kind of mostly 20s, maybe 30, but then sometimes it can get up towards 60, I guess if there aren't a lot of other people on screen or if you're in an area that isn't very densely packed with stuff in the environment, it runs pretty well. Uh, I do think my screen recorder is part of the problem. I've been using something called AZ Screen Recorder. This is what I use for all of my mobile footage. And it's been pretty good for the most part, but sometimes whenever I use it, for some reason, it makes the footage look a little bit jerky and stuttery. And I don't think it gives a very accurate portrayal of what you're seeing. Again, it's, it's not much better in the actual game, but you know, I just want to make sure I show off the best possible version of what I'm playing on my current hardware, but I can't do that right now. And I have been trying to find some alternatives. If anyone can suggest a good one, please let me know. I tried one that was, it was literally just called Screen Recorder. And I tried it, and the moment I hit record and started a match, my phone crashed. I thought it was a glitch, so I tried it again, and it crashed a second time. So, yeah, I'm kind of stuck with this until I get to something better. So, visuals, pretty good. Could be better, but no complaints. And I'm sure the, uh heads up display is looking a little bit cluttered here. There are options to uh, customize where you can put them, you can adjust the opacity of them, and you can turn some of them off. Not all of them, but some of them. So that kind of helps make the game look a little bit less like a typical mobile game. Because I know all these little extra buttons and the, the virtual analog stick are just kind of distracting, but eh, it's all right. 
it's all good. So, getting to the actual online play, uh, as you probably know or don't know, I have had a very limited experience with online multiplayer in my entire gaming history. I've always been primarily a single player kind of guy. I enjoy stories, I like getting immersed in the world, and just, you know, playing the game for what it is. I've always considered multiplayer to be more of a perk than a feature. I don't buy a game for the multiplayer, you know what I mean? But that's just me. And, like, my experience is so limited, I could even list the few games I've played online. Like, I, I played, like, two matches of Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS. I played the Uncharted 2 beta, and only the beta, not the even, not even in the actual game, just the beta. I played a bit of Wipeout HD online. That was pretty fun. I really enjoyed that back in the day. And then the other one, which was probably the closest thing to this experience, was the Warhawk demo on PS3. I played that demo religiously. I don't know why I never bought the actual game. Like, I played that demo as if it were the actual game. I played it so much, man. Good times with that. Good times. But, uh, you know, as far as the network connections and all that stuff, it's been pretty solid overall. Uh, haven't had any delayed inputs or lag, freezing, except for a few instances. I think that's probably because I was playing on, on like a rainy day or something and that kind of messed up with my signal. But it's been all right. I haven't had any long wait times for matches either. They tend to load up pretty quickly. There's almost always a match going on somewhere. So as soon as I find something that I want to do, I'm usually in there in like 10 seconds at like at the most. So, so that's pretty good. I have been trying some of the other online modes. I just, you know, I did some of the regular multiplayer. I did a little bit of ranked. I have been doing a bit of zombies too. That's a good way to get a lot of experience. I did the uh, the normal raid, which is kind of long-winded, but fun. Get to fight a big old boss at the end. Well, one time when I was playing, I was, uh, excuse me. I, uh, like, I had four people on my team, but then two of them bailed out, like, within the first few minutes. And I had to pick up the slack, and I ended up doing, like, 94% damage to the boss, because there was only one other person with me. At, by then, so that got pretty hectic, but it was fun. You know, nice little horde mode and all that stuff. Uh, I wasn't really sure about this at first because I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but I did try the Battle Royale mode, but not the classic. It was the uh, the warf Warfare mode where you, you and a bunch of team members just go out there and just fight until you reach a certain score limit. I did that, and Unfortunately, I don't have any footage to show of that because I don't think my phone can handle Battle Royale between the huge map, all the players on screen. Well, it was, it was a lot of people, but you know, just because of the huge map and everything, uh, my phone, I, I swear my phone was about to have a heart attack by the time we got to like the final stretch when the map was really, you know, really closed in and there was no way I'd be able to record footage of that because if I tried to, my phone definitely would have crashed or frozen or worse. It was it, it was that bad. And again, that's why I kind of wish the game had more, more, you know, more variety of graphic options because obviously no two phones are made the same. So you think they'd be able to let you tailor it based on your phone or device or whatever, but eh, it is what it is, but... I don't think I'll be doing Battle Royale again anytime soon. Not on this phone anyway, maybe on a different one, but definitely not this one. Uh, but you know, it was interesting. I haven't tried the, uh, that, what's that, that one hit, one kill mode? It's like where you have to like, you know, it's like you shoot someone once and they die. I haven't tried that one yet. I haven't tried most of the other modes either. I haven't tried, uh, the one where you capture points and stuff. Uh, I've just been doing team deathmatch for the most part, really have done free-for-all, anything like that. And no, I just, you know, that's just me. I've never been much of a team player when it comes to, well, this one, I'm a team player, but you know, you, you know what I mean. I'm not too big on online multiplayer, but from my experience with this game, it's been pretty fun. So I'm enjoying it, but 
the thing that I really wanted to bring up about this game that makes it so great to me is the way it handles the free to play model because I think this might be the best take on it I have ever played in any mobile game that I've played to date because it feels more free than freemium if that makes any sense because there's nothing in this game that's halting your progress or preventing you from just enjoying the game in general first of all there's no energy systems there's no stamina you can play as much as you want or as little as you want you know you can, you can go in play a few matches then call it a day or you can just sit down plug in your phone and just play for hours the game won't stop you it's not going to say oh you're out of energy you're gonna have to wait five minutes or pay five bucks to you know fill up your stamina yada 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 nope none of that stuff it's just the game wants you to play it and like your, your characters and your weapons they all level up with experience as you play so that means you don't have to put any in-game currency into upgrades there's no timers for anything like that there's nothing like you don't have to wait you you just get in there and you play like the only actual timers are you know the timed events like the valentine's day thing or uh the the, the seasons things like that you know there's nothing that's preventing you from just getting in there and i really appreciate that and the game doesn't even have any ads you can watch ads if you want but you can only watch five ads per day and they only give you 25 credits so you can only get a few, you know so many per day it's like that's chump change why even bother it's like even the game is saying you know what don't worry about it just just keep playing so you know ads who needs them no need for that uh i would say that as far as actual balance the game does feel like it's a pretty level playing field i've never felt as if uh oh this uh opponent has a really you know overpowered gun why don't i have that or something like that i mean everyone has their preference of guns i know like my worst enemy is you know snipers i hate snipers hate them hate them hate them but you know it's it's fair you know if i know how to navigate the environment more carefully you know take the long way around get around people you know use your head you know it's all about you know it's all about skill over numbers it's not about oh their numbers are bigger than than your numbers so you can never beat them you're gonna have to grind to get your numbers higher than their numbers so you can beat their numbers like no it's, it's, it's that's not how it works it's it is just like a proper video game you know it's like this there's no real imbalance i would say the only maybe i won't say it's, it's imbalanced but i'm not a fan of the uh the the self chopper and the vtol whenever i hear those things coming i just i i run for cover because those things scare me because you always get everybody but uh it is what it is and you can attach you know you can get various attachments to your weapons you can give perks to your character that gives some advantages but again you can work around them just by playing smart playing carefully you know not like me play good you know use your head it's uh hmm. it's just a good game you know it doesn't really push any purchases on you it doesn't like really the game doesn't even really seem to want me to spend any money on anything there are those you know those little short promos and sales at the start of the game but you know there's no there's no pressure into buying into the game sure you, you can stand to gain from doing it but you don't lose anything from not doing it it's like a glass half full kind of thing because at first i was kind of concerned about the whole cod point thing because i figured cod points were going to be like your typical secondary premium currency like how every game always has money and then you have gems so you have to use to upgrade stuff quicker you know skip past certain upgrade trees and all that kind of stuff i thought that was, i thought that was well yeah i thought that was what cod points were but it, what it seems like you can only buy them with money you don't get them from normal play so i thought okay that's no big deal but you can get them as tier rewards in the premium battle pass but 
the battle pass costs card points. But if you want to get card points to get the battle pass, you have to spend money on card points for the battle pass to get card points. So it's like the game wants you to make a very small investment up front if you want to start getting card points. Which I guess is fair. I mean, it's not like it's like a paid subscription. It's just like a one-time thing. But it's not for me. And it's fine, you know, it just seems a bit a bit redundant, but I don't need it because from what I've seen, most of those uh, weapons and equipment are just kind of cosmetic. It's just, you know, it's just skins for your, your weapons and stuff, and I don't really need that. So it doesn't affect me, it doesn't really affect the overall balance of the game, so, you know, why should I care? You know, it's just, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, it's fine. So as for the actual, you know, whole free-to-play model, I think it's handling it pretty well. In fact, I'd say it's handling it too well, if you ask me. There's gotta be some kind of catch to this. But that's the thing. It's with most free-to-play games, it seems like there's always gonna be some kind of a roadblock. You're gonna get to a point where you can't win a race, you can't beat an enemy unless you upgrade stuff. So you have to sit and wait for your timers to go up. Or you have to grind to get, you know, more money to buy those upgrades that you have to wait for to upgrade. But in here, there's none of that. Like, this feels like someone just gave me a free copy of a Call of Duty game that was just pure multiplayer. It's just like, hey, you want to play Call of Duty? Here you go, free game. Just play it. It's, that's why I think this might actually be the best mobile game out there right now. Like, I'm, I might be sounding like a shill right now, but I really do mean it when I think this game might be one of the best out there at this time. I just, I find it very addictive. I can play at my own pace. It's, there's, it's like, you know what? I could take a break from this game right now. I could go on a, on a hiatus for several months, come back later, and I could still get right in there and have a good time. I thought the same about War Robots, you know, that, uh, it's like this, like this six on six robot, you know, battle game. I put a lot of time into that, but I got to a point where enemies had so m much better weapons and just generally way better robots than I did. And it's just like, how can I compete with this? You know, the matchmaking was so off that, excuse me, it was just so off that I never felt that I'd be able to win again because they were just really beating the crap out of me because they just had so much good stuff. But here, it feels like everyone is more or less equal, just with some slight ups and downs, very slight. And I think that's what makes this game feel a lot more fair and more just generally enjoyable than any other mobile game out there. Like, to me, this does on mobile for multiplayer what Warframe did on PC for single player, in my experience with free to play games, because I love Warframe. I don't know if you guys know that, but I put like a hundred something hours into that game and it never got old because it's a game that just lets you play. It's not, it's like, I, I wonder how this game even makes money. I would assume it's based on, uh, I don't know, man. I love this game, it's good. Get out there and play it right now.